Well, hello, here we are again. And in this uh, this time I want to uh, show you a space marine. Yes, uh, that's right, it's a space marine like the ones in James Cameron Aliens movie. So uh, I'm going to start by introducing this uh, wonderful application called Make Human. So what uh, Make Human does? Uh, well, uh, what this app does is uh, it provides 3D artists of a highly optimized human model. This model is uh, already rigged and texturized. This in a production environment is uh, really well. It's really necessary, I believe, to to minimize uh, some of the most tedious and repetitive aspects of uh, of our work. Uh, of course, these models uh, are only uh, are only used as a base. Uh, these models are not uh, finished models. So rarely it, they can be used in uh, in production in the original uh, state. I mean, um, so uh, you can see that uh, this application has a uh, lot of uh, parameters. So you can uh, construct your character. You can build your character. Uh, with uh, facial features, with uh, body features, with e even with uh, skin color. If you want, you can even uh, add some clothes, some uh, pants, some <laughs> shirts, uh, and hair. But uh, this time we don't need uh, any of that. We just need the the uh, uh, the body. So mm, this uh, this body, this uh, model, it's then import to in, into Blender. So we can see uh, this uh, this human model has uh, a really decent uh, rig. You can you can animate the 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 model. Um, it's a great uh, rig. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, uh, too much uh, complicated, but uh, it functions. And it uh, it uh, makes the job. So what we're gonna start uh, to do here is to to sculpt our character. We need to customize the the facial features of our character. I needed a more aggressive look. You can see here that uh, it's already it's already a, a strongest uh, uh, fierce look. His uh, his eyes, his uh, his facial features are being uh, I mean hardened. It's uh, it's uh, more like a tough guy right now. We need to put some some uh, sculpting uh, into his uh, body. I needed to, to. I wanted to wanted him to look more muscular. I'm using um, um, the multi res. Uh, um, because uh, I already know that my my character is not going to change its form. I need it's it's going to stay human. So I don't need to add more uh, more material. In that case, I would have to I, I would use the the dy dynamic topology. But uh, in this case, I only need to add uh, detail, uh, some wrinkles, some um, some skin pores. There you go. 
So in this case, multi-res is, uh, is faster than dynamic topology. And it's not non-destructive. That's important. Because we already have a rigged character. We don't want to, to lose the, uh, the rig. We want to be able to animate our model uh, after sculpting it. So we, we can use these uh, matcaps. It depends on the, on the type of matcap to so we can see uh, more efficiently efficiently, uh, efficiently <laughs> uh, the details we are working on. Um, this is the original texture that uh, make human give us. Uh, this is the the ambient occlusion. We can mix both. To have a more uh, realistic uh, material, the, anyway, the the original texture we have to to work it because uh, uh, in the process of uh, sculpting the model, some uh, some parts of the texture uh, ain't in their in their place anymore. So, um, here we have the, the almost finished the model. We have to pose him. There. I wanted to give him a pose like, uh, like in, a, in the middle of the fight. You see now. There. Like uh, if the. Like if we were in the ground looking up and seeing this uh, uh, giant uh, soldier uh, telling us, don't get up. <laughs> don't get up because I'm going to hit you again. This is the final. Final render, the, the background is just uh, a, a simple background to give some some depth uh, sense. So, that's all. <laughs>